I'm a buyer. Oh my God, the media is telling me that I have to pay out of pocket my buyer's agent. What am I gonna do? Number one, stop listening to fake news. Just because the media says that you have to pay your buyer's agent now does not mean that that's the case. Buyer's agent commission is not dead, guys. As of August 17, 2024, the NAR settlement made two changes that are sweeping across the real estate world. Number one, buyer engagement agreements or some form of engagement agreement need to be signed between a buyer and a buyer's agent, representing the rules of how they will be doing that agency relationship with the fiduciary responsibility. The second rule is MLS or multiple listing services no longer allows listing agents to advertise the paid commission on MLS. What does that mean for the buyer? Now, what we're seeing so far is that most sellers are still offering commission. They understand the fact that when they offer a buyer's agent commission, it can essentially be financed by the buyer's loan. Meaning that if the buyer was coming up with 10% down or 20% down, that means the remaining 80 or 90% of that buyer's agent commission would be funded through the loan. They also understand that if they don't offer a buyer's agent commission and the buyer was responsible for paying that directly, 100% of those funds would need to come out of the buyer's pocket. So number one, most sellers are still offering a buyer's agent commission. But number two, buyer's agent commission is a negotiable term on a contract now. Just like the days to close, the purchase price, the earnest money deposit, contingency window, it's just a term in negotiation. So just because a buyer's agent commission might not be offered on the front end, doesn't mean that you can't write that offer with the seller still paying a buyer's agent commission. In fact, that's typically still happening. So if I'm in the shoes of the buyer right now, I'm not pulling my hair out. I'm not worrying. Most of the situations that we're seeing are still offering a buyer's agent commission or at least expressing, bring us an offer and we'll negotiate it as any sort of term. If the agent or the seller absolutely refuses to pay a buyer's agent commission, at that point, it's an internal question for yourself. Do I have the liquid capital to pay my agent outside of the loan. And if not, maybe this isn't the correct house for me because just like, hey, maybe I can't afford this house, but I could afford one, one step down in a cheaper neighborhood. So don't worry, don't panic. The world isn't falling and things aren't changing and people aren't taking more money out of your pocket. It's just another term to negotiate with. Don't hit the panic button. Choose your buyer's agent wisely. They should be able to educate you on this full process thoroughly and to what their strategies are to save you money through this process in getting you your dream home.